virtually everywhere in the earth crops. And we have three basic types of rocks. The igneous rocks, the sedimentary rocks, and the metamorphic rocks. This is a very good illustration showing the rock cycle. How rocks come about, how they are changed from one form or type to another, and how they are being withered, transported, deposited, and how they consolidate to form other types of rocks. Now, from, from the magma beneath the earth, I told you magma is molten rock. If you don't call it molten rock, you can also look at it as um, melted rock. And it is usually as a result of high temperature that it is melted. For instance, a metamorphic rock may be exposed to intense temperature and it undergoes melting and gives rise to what we know is known as magma. And when this magma comes up to the surface of the earth, it could be forcefully or gently, depending on the internal processes that are going on within the earth. It cools and solidifies to form igneous rock. And igneous rock also, on melting, can give rise to magma. Or a metamorphic rock. Heat and pressure can turn a, 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 an igneous rock to a metamorphic rock. As we go on in the study, we will see some examples of modified rocks. When I say modified rocks, they are more, uh, more or less metamorphic rocks. And the igneous rock as well, as you can see from the illustration, upon weathering and erosion, can break or disintegrate into minor particles and carry as sediments and are taken to another environment deposited there and over time undergo what we call compaction and cementation and when this takes place it forms a sedimentary rock and sedimentary rocks can also under the action of heat and pressure deform to form metamorphic rock. I told you metamorphic rocks are modified rocks and their modification is usually as a result of heat and pressure. Also, the sedimentary rock can also undergo effect of weathering and erosion to give rise to sediments which are deposited or transported, deposited and undergo a process of compaction and cementation to form another sedimentary rock. Now, the figure shown already has already explained the mode of formation of the various rock types. But we are still going to look at them one after the other very briefly. Now, Igneous rock. Igneous rock is formed by the cooling and solidification of molten magma that is ejected from beneath the earth's crust. As a result of this ejection, based on whether the ejection is forceful or it is gentle, we can have what we call plutonic or intrusive igneous rock. Plutonic or intrusive igneous rocks 
are formed when molten magma cools and solidifies gently beneath the Earth's surface. Examples include granite, gabbro, and diorite. Whereas the volcanic or extrusive igneous rock are formed when magma cools or solidifies rapidly on getting to the surface of the earth. An example is basalt. Basalt is a good example of an extrusive igneous rock. Now, there are certain characteristics that defines an igneous rock. And one characteristic is they are crystalline in structure. That is to say that their mineral composition of the igneous rock are arranged in a regular pattern. The composition, the matter or materials that make up these igneous rocks are, have a regular pattern of arrangement. And that is why we say that they have crystalline or they are crystalline in structure. Now, the igneous rocks are non-stratified rocks. That means they do not occur in layers like it is found in sedimentary rocks. Igneous rocks also lack presence of fossils. Fossils are the remains of plants and animals. At times it could be the activities like it is found in a sedimentary environment where you have traces of uh, footpaths or steps of these uh, animals that have lived long ago, that are, were preserved. And igneous rocks are generally hard and impervious. That is to say, they do not allow the free flow of liquids or water. Yes, and a very, a very good illustration or a figure of uh, granite, which is an example of an igneous rock. Let us consider the sedimentary rock. Like I said before, the sedimentary rock is formed from a gradual deposition of sediments either by water, wind, or ice. And these sediments are usually brought by, as a result of a weather or weathering effect upon previous rocks or previous existing, previously existing rocks. When the action of weathering affects previously existing rocks, they are disintegrated and action of water, wind and ice transport this and are deposited gradually and over time they undergo compaction and cementation to form the sedimentary rock. Now there are types of sedimentary rocks. One is mechanically formed sedimentary rock. Depending on their mode of formation, that is where we have the types of sedimentary rock. The mechanically formed sedimentary rocks is a type of sedimentary rock formed of other rocks that have accumulated and cemented together over time. Example, we have sandstone, breccia, shale, clay, and conglomerate. We have also the organically formed sedimentary rock. Organically formed sedimentary rock are such sedimentary rocks that are formed from the remains of living organisms. An example, of course, we have the limestone, the chalk, and peats. Finally, we have 
chemically formed sedimentary rock. They are formed from the precipitation of rock solutions, such as um, salt, dolomites, etc. Sedimentary rocks also have distinct characteristics. And one of such characteristics is that they occur in strata. Contrary to what is obtainable in igneous rocks, the sedimentary rocks occur in strata. That is, they occur in layers. As deposition takes place, various layers are being made or formed. That is why the sedimentary rocks occur in layers. Now, they are non crystalline in structure. Their composition or the materials that make up the sedimentary rock are not arranged in any regular pattern. That is why they are non crystalline in structure. The sedimentary rock contains fossils. And of course, you know, fossils are remains of plants and animals and also the sedimentary rocks may be coarse, fine, soft or hard. This is a limestone, a perfect example of a sedimentary rock. Metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed from pre-existing igneous